that piece actually is uh, something that I always like to do in my sketchbooks. I like to just kind of freely play with lines. And so uh, actually if you turn this piece in several directions, you'll see uh, faces in each direction. Uh, you'll find a, a face or you'll find a, a person there. Uh, so I like to create optical illusions. And uh, so I try to do that in my work in the midst of being, uh, you know, very figurative, representational. I tend to work from a uh, magical realism perspective. You know, most of my pieces are drawn from my childhood and also the child within. And so uh, my child... Uh, hood is what inspired a lot of the paintings that I had, and particularly the painting I brought today uh, is depicted of a, um, a young child pick, pushing his older sibling in a uh, in a in a cart. And so, um, me and my sister, my youngest sister, we liked to play in carts. We didn't have a lot of toys and stuff, but we always found a way to have fun together. And so, I used to uh, I remember. I pushed her all the way to a cart to a Chinese restaurant, and I had a, some enough money to get us some uh, take her out on a date. <laughs> That's the first time I, I said, "Okay, I'm going to take you out for dinner. We're going to go eat." So I pushed her in the cart all the way to the uh, to this uh, restaurant. It's tore down now, but it was right on Fillmore Street, and I pushed her all the way there. And we, because uh, we lived on Turk. And we pushed, I pushed her all the way to Fillmore, and we went to this Chinese restaurant and ate some uh, shrimp fried rice. <laughs> so I believe that those early memories are the most sacred memories that we can have as human beings. And so I try to, you know, go back to those untouched memories, those memories that aren't influenced by society or by the problems that society tends to bring us in our later life, you know. Uh, I try to go to those most innocent moments and then we look at, you know, what the circumstances are then. It's a source of energy, it's a source of definite purity, you know, where you can kind of touch into a pure uh, situation or circumstance, you know, we tend, when we grow up, we kind of throw away the things of our childhood, and so then the inner child dies within, and then we're no longer living. We're just trying to get from day to day. Do you remember the, the moment when you said, oh, I'm going to make this drawing of my, me pushing my sister in the cart? Do you remember that moment when that happened? Uh, yeah, I remember the moment. I didn't necessarily want to do it of me because I know that I was working with others. So I didn't want to be of me. I didn't want it to be a question of, wow, that looks just like you, or wow, that's, that's your sister. Wow, you know, I didn't want that to be the question. I wanted more of the act. So I kind of did a portrait of the emotion, the act of, other than just uh, something that happened in real life. So I wanted to create a situation based on a reality. Uh, actually, I was, I was scratching, I was scratching, I was, and, I, and then scratching at the pad, and then I started developing a, a, a cart, and I said, oh, you know what, I remember I used to push my sister in the cart, let me, let me do something like that, you know. And uh, it actually started out as a sketch, and the sketch sat around for years, and then I decided to do the painting. How's everybody this evening? My name is Malik Sineferu. Uh, I chose to bring this piece uh, into the gallery uh, as an experiment just to see how the public would uh, react to it. These, this uh, piece actually um, is a series of ideas that are all kind of collaborated together. Uh, initially, I, have, uh, I started doing uh, silhouettes in these five by seven uh, pieces. Uh, and I was trying to figure out how I was going to be able to expand it to a larger, um, larger surface. And so um, I used to work with children in San Francisco. And uh, I was trying to figure out one day on how I was going to come up with a good optical illusion that I can uh, kind of invent on my own. And I came up with these arrows here. Uh, and the arrows, when I, I started a first piece, that's actually hanging at uh, Barnes and Nobles in Jack London Square. 
but that was the first piece I did and after that I decided that I, I really wanted to figure out how I was going to bring it to the canvas in terms of uh, working with acrylics and working uh, flat other than the normal works that I normally do which is representational or sometimes even um, you know slightly abstract. So uh, this, these pieces are actually uh, entitled Uhuru. Uh, I did these pieces uh, as a dedication to my little brother who was killed in Hunter's Point. And so uh, this, these paintings, a lot of them are discussions about discussions that we had before he was killed. Uh, it was actually three days before he was killed that we had and we were going to go horseback riding and uh, he told me he wanted to go to Africa because uh, in 97 I went to Africa and he, you know, he, he had just turned 19 and he was telling me that, you know, now that he's old enough, he, he really wants you know, to kind of follow the things that I've been trying to work with him on as a young child. And so um, one day I went to the store. Uh, actually, this was like a, a day after I found out he, he was killed. And I went to a store and I picked up a Basquiat book. And uh, I opened up the book. It was page 69. And it was a painting called Maurice, which is the name of my little brother. And uh, the painting was identical to his autopsy. And so I said, wow, I have to do something. And right then and there, I knew that I can bring the uh, silhouettes because I didn't want to do a painting of him on how I could actually do it, which is a portrait. I didn't want to come from that perspective. I wanted to do it more in the aspect of um, silhouette. So uh, I haven't yet done a silhouette of him, but I'm right now currently building my ideas to working on these paintings and uh, working on a larger painting skill. He wanted to be a rap artist and uh, he wanted to learn more about music. He wanted to open up his own little recording studio. And so um, these pieces are in dedication to him. And uh, also uh, some of the conversations we had were around nationhood and uh, civilization in terms of uh, being responsible to ourselves. And uh, uh, you will notice here, you, some might ask, what does the lizards mean? They're a representation of the elders, my grandmother who also passed away about three years ago. And um, these are a representation of my, my grandparents. Uh, 